between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Dallas Cowboys. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And it'll be a terrific return here as he gets it down all the way inside the 30. As the excitement continues to swirl after that return, if I'm the offensive coordinator, I'm thinking about keeping that excitement going. Already in scoring position, I've got to take some shots at the end zone right now. Up the middle, here's Elliott, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, that's a sharp goal right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer. But he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Finish it up. Come on, man up. Inside give to Elliott. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. And they've stopped them on the first two downs. Obviously, this is an important play coming up here. I think it's more so for the guys on defense because if they stop them here, I think they've set the tone for the entire game, how difficult it's going to be to score on them. And that is caught. Touchdown. Cowboys put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. That was a big throw right there on third and goal. And the defense has to be prepared for you to throw the ball on third and goal. Because we really second down, second and goal. That's your play action time. And you're not sure where you're going to throw it. Third down, you're usually sure they're probably going to pass it. Even more impressive that they got it done. And on the opening drive of the game. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 23. And Bateman, and he'll go in motion right here. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, 
but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Now Jackson on second down, steps away to his left. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. This guy's proven himself to be one of the best in the NFL. He brings an added dimension to their offense with his ability to read defenses and know when he's able to pull it down and take off and go. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, he'd had success earlier in the drive keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Jackson, option right. And holding it, maybe the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. And tip your cap to Demarcus Lawrence. Nice play defensively. But sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion. And I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Now it's Jackson. Looking for Aguilar and it's intercepted. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. now for the PAT. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 15-0 first quarter lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They find themselves in a good size hole here, and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. to the air. Jackson following the pick six. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Good throw there to start the second possession. Maybe help erase the memory of the interception he threw first possession. Yeah, I think a lot of the time now there's a communication between the head coach, offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach. All right, we're going to get him settled. It's not easy after you've thrown a pick six. 
You might want to just run the football. But I think in most cases, you want to give him easy throws, throws that he's comfortable with to get him going again. And it's not necessarily just throwing one, one or two yards. What throws does he like to make? Give him a couple of those and get him going. Definitely looked like one he was comfortable with on the last throw. the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Henry out of the pistol. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that point from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. They work now on second and nine. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. There was a little space there, yes, but that was a well-executed run by the rookie. It was, and he wasn't one of the higher-rated rookie running backs coming out. He's probably on the next tier. But let me tell you something. If he becomes more consistent and continues to have that drive to be one of the best, we'll see more of that in the future. Donovan Wilson that time there on the tackle. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. On second down, here's Mitchell. There he goes left side. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. A great play there. 40 yards. And the Ravens have got it back to within a score. Well, that's a good-looking rookie right there. I love how he let the play set up and then showed that explosiveness that I saw on tape in college. Remember I showed you the clip of what he was doing and setting up blocks, and then he would just go? We saw it on that play right there. That one was fun to watch. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. No gain on the play there. Second down. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Toss left to Elliott. Good move at the 30. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now they'll get the yardage on the run and get 15 more for good measure. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult to spot. You heard the sideline erupting, and the flags came out almost immediately. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Here's Prescott. 
And oh, a dangerous throw there. Nearly intercepted on the sideline, but it's incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. On second down, Prescott again. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Ravens will take over possession here up at the 44. After the interception, here's Jackson. They find Jackson all over the middle. And he's brought down. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. A big completion there against double coverage. And Charles, one of those guys had a pick on him earlier. Yeah, so he didn't allow that to deter him at all, did he? In fact, it probably was a challenge. Okay, you got a pick before. <laughs> it's my turn now to make the big play. And that's exactly what he did. The 20. Likely 42 yards, and the Ravens are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets a head of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. They start from scratch here, so to speak. 14 all following the interception last time that led to a score. Now they've got it first and 10. They start on the ground with Elliott. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Off play action to Elliott, here's Prescott. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. I know we're just in the second quarter, and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. Prescott from the gun on third. He gets it to Cooks. No gain at all on the play there, and that brings up four. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return, and the Ravens, they'll take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. They've got momentum on their side. They were once down 14-0. Now it's even at 14 as they look to put together a drive to get them the lead. Now Jackson. 
And that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. So from the 37, here's a second and four. Here's Jackson to throw. That's complete. It's Zay Flowers with it. And he'll be taken down with a first down as they get about 14 out of that one. And we go to the two-minute warning. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Flowers. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. To throw again is Jackson. before they're inside the 25. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Throwing is Jackson. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. They'll set up to throw. They're looking deep here for Flowers. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Some coverage there, and they were playing deep. That is a, a little bit harder to work by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. And Tucker, the former Longhorn, puts this one through, and they take a 17-14 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks can tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott throwing the out route incomplete. It's Ferguson. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Let's go, baby. 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Prescott. He's got a man complete. And the Cowboys will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there. Touchdown of the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. But the Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. To throw is Jackson. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Here's second and ten now from the 35. Here's Jackson. Well caught by Flowers. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get him with 10 seconds to go before halftime. They'll come up now, third and three. Jackson from the shotgun. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send John over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, 
How about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? They put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and it'll be a third and about 13. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Mozzie Smith, he fought through to record the sack. That time, Charles, great job keeping him in the pocket and not letting him escape. And Brandon, I think this is a great example of the front and the back working together, meaning the back covering, no place to go with the football. And the front, terrific job on the edge, so he couldn't escape outside. And then, of course, the inside pressure kept him hemmed in as well. It'll be a 41-yard punt, giving five on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down, Elliott once more. And they get him down the line before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Prescott now, option right. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. 
Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. Prescott to throw it. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to be taken down. Remember, he needed four yards. And four yards is going to be what he gets as they do convert here on fourth down. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. That is caught by Lane. And he's brought down after a very nice game. An excellent game, 35 yards. They came out with an aggressive mindset to start the third quarter, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them take more of these type of deep shots as this game moves along. They connected there. They expect to connect on more before this one's over. Elliott diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. Sometimes offense, if you get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here. And we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Now the extra point. And good ball. And that pushes the lead up to So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Oh, good looking return set up here. And he'll return this one all the way out of the other side of the field. It's the third quarter, and they're down on the scoreboard. And while no one wants to hit the panic button just yet, points are a necessity on this drive. What a great way to get set up. Now Jackson on first down. Screen play setting it up for Mitchell. And yeah, he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 40-yard line. That's the end of the third quarter of play with the score Cowboys 48, Ravens 17. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and two. Back now in Arlington. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. And Andrew's going to have a Ravens first down as he'll get this down to the 35-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The keeper there turning into a big play of 23 yards, and it moves the sticks. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively, because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. 
Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game, and all that pregame whooping has turned into results. He'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Again, it's Henry. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one we're going to see in this game, not as long as they have this lead. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 34. And Tucker, the former Longhorn, puts this one through, and that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Cowboys! It's been a back and forth game. A lot of points on the board. And that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Well, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. And we go to the blow two. And the lead is up to 15 now. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Now he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And it's tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. This will go to Henry out wide. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. On second down, here's Henry. 
and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards there on the play as they try to chip away at this 15-point deficit. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Now, into the hands of Flowers. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From the gun, it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. The noise is getting deafening. Here's third down and three. Jackson. Working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 18. And a two-score game, obviously. Every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified. Big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Jackson throwing once more. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And they're going to get it. They bring it down to sack back in the 16-yard line. Micah Parsons able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Jackson, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs, and the Cowboys will take over here at their own 14-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Another run on second down. Try to cover up. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and that should be that. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth.
The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take a knee. that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets, defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.